friends, this is me Jaspali, we are joining with you from Team Indian Folk, Bangalore. Indian Folk is this particular community where the youth of the country come together to share their opinion on various matters and events that happen around us. It helps you to get yourself educated about the recent happenings and to create an opinion on various issues that can affect your lives. In an article titled Jobless Growth in India written by Hema Vaishnavi, the author essentially speaks about the peculiar nature of Indian growth story. Since the liberalization and globalization policy of 1991, when the economy was opened up for foreign investment and foreign firms, we have been experiencing a spontaneous growth in terms of annual growth rates of GDP. Over the past two decades, we achieved a massive growth to such an extent that today India is one of the emerging economies in the world. For that matter, we often had growth rates ranging between 6 to 8 percentage and at one point even surging to 9.8 percentage per annum. While one interesting aspect of this growth story is that this growth of GDP is happening without a simultaneous growth in the number of jobs created in the country. For instance, between the year 2004 and 2010, the number of jobs added to the labor market was a mere 1 million. This must be read with the data released by NSSO in a 66th round where it is mentioned that more than 55 million people each year enter the labor market in our country while only 1 million out of this 55 gets a job opportunity meaning that a large chunk of this working population is still out of the labor market unable to find a job. In History, we could see that almost every revolution, every popular uprising against the government was a result of the restlessness or a restless population, which in turn was largely a result of a population highly unemployed. When people are unemployed, they revolt against the government, they revolt against the society, against the norms, against the ethical and moral values of the community. It is not just about ethics and culture, but also about the living standards. When a large share of the population is outside the labor force or essentially when they are unemployed, it has a serious toll on the living standards of these people and the families that they hail from. While India was able to grow at an astonishing rate of 8.5% over the past couple of years, this growth came without a simultaneous growth in the labor market and also the opportunities created in the form of employment. Well, what does this imply? The growth is being isolated or it is happening in the few pockets of the economy while not getting translated into something that can benefit a larger population. MNCs, larger corporations are growing each year, making huge amount of profit every annum and giving a good return to their shareholders. Industries are performing well, so is the case with the service sector. However, this growth is not being reflected in the number of employment opportunities created by the economy. End of the day, economics and public administration is all about the well-being of the individuals. And what well-being can we talk about if we cannot impart the growth of the economy and translate it into the number of jobs created in our economy each year? This is not to deny the importance of GDP growth each year. But at the same time, there must be emphasis so that a good number of employment opportunities are created for the people, especially the young and the upcoming generation of the society so that they can sustain a good standard of living in the long run. To read this article as well as several wonderful pieces of opinion, please do log on to indianform.com. We can follow us on our Twitter handle, YouTube page as well as our Facebook page. Thanks so much for watching this video.